we are back for the last day of Radiant Barrier. So I think we have one more roll to cut and install. And you can see all the white, all the walls are done except for the back, back far corner. So we're just gonna get these cut to length, get them installed so we can move on to the roof. That's the next big project. And you can see we have bundles and bundles of insulation all lined up, ready to go. Open. I didn't open anything. I'm really getting the hang of this D-Wall stapler. It's not perfect, a little finicky, a little heavy, but it's working. Well guys, we did it. We just finished up all the walls, went through all the bubble foil. We have no more pieces left. You're gonna notice a couple of bare spots above the windows because we ran out and we do have a whole nother box that we didn't open, but these are three packs and I had to buy them in groups of three. And if I open that box just for a little bit, well, it's a big waste of money. So I'm gonna return that box and I'm gonna say this is good enough. I got a skinny bay at the end that I didn't get filled, no problem. This whole back wall, it's pretty much covered by shade all the time. We got a lot of trees back here. It gets no sun, so it doesn't matter. It's a short wall. I'm not worried about that, but you can see it's looking good. So you guys are probably wondering if this is making any difference. How does it feel inside the mobile home? To be honest, it's hard to tell today because it started out as a pretty overcast day. It wasn't very sunny, so it's not that bad in here. It's pretty comfortable. And as soon as you open the windows, like we have the windows open, all the heat goes out and it feels pretty normal. It's warm. It's not cool in here, it's warm, but it's... It feels like the outside temperature. Yeah. It feels like I'm just sitting in the shade. Yeah. So, but the fact of the matter is it will still get hot in here because foil and like radiant barrier has no R value. It just has reflective value. It helps bounce back some of the radiant heat. We have no ceiling insulation, no wall insulation. We got windows all around. Of course, the heat is gonna still get in here. It's still coming through the roof, it's still coming through everywhere. So until we get insulation in this house, we're still gonna be hot. And I think that's what we're gonna work on next. I'm gonna be starting right here on this section of the ceiling. I wanna get the center of the home done, start working that way. And that's really because I wanna get some support in the middle of the home for lateral support to keep the home from blowing over in a big hurricane or something. Because right now you gotta realize, 
We have basically 60 feet of wall on both sides, 60 feet of home just standing, right? There's no inner support. So the house doesn't have a lot of strength this way right now, but right here is the center of the home. And my idea is that if I can get the ceiling installed here, because we're doing all the ceilings first, then I could build a wall under it at any point. We'll be ready for this wall, because there will be a wall here. And I can use that wall as bracing. We can frame it up in a way that it's well braced and it'll give strength in the center of the home. We just flipped over two sheets, cut them to length. So we're ready to start on this first section. The reason we're gonna be working this insulation and ceiling at the same time is because the insulation is puffy and these bays are 24 inch on center. So they're wide bays. And I don't want to have to go through the house and put the insulation in and having it falling down and sagging later on. So if we put up two pieces of insulation, we can cover it right away. And that section is done. We don't have to worry about it falling out. And we can take advantage of the natural compression of the insulation when we're getting it into the tight areas at the eaves. So that's what we're doing. We're going to work carefully because we don't have any masks with us, any respirators. So... We're just going to try to not fluff up that fiberglass too much. I want to get this end in first, which I'm a little bit of far away from. Yeah, but it needs to go in a lot more. It's falling out. No, it's got a huge gap. Look at it. I said, yeah, it needs to go in a lot more. Oh. I didn't know what you meant. That's why I was asking if it was in. It's okay for bolts over to the other side because it doesn't matter too much. Well. Just hold it, just hold it. There's probably just hitting staples here. Are you ready? Hold nails. Okay. Are you able to hold that for a moment? Yep. Well guys, that was hard, slow, painful. Um, it wasn't a perfect fit. I think we messed up on that one. We should have moved it over an eighth of an inch. Not a big deal. It's just bad enough working above your head, pushing up this panel. It is lighter than drywall. It is easier than drywall. Yep. But hopefully we can do better with each one. And at least now the insulation isn't going anywhere. Can you grab that? Right, let me have it a little bit. It's good over there. 
Okay, something's way off on this. I'm gonna take it off, down. Well, last night we started this project and I will tell you, it's off to a rough start. We have one panel up, that one didn't go too bad, but this one right here, we realized we had a major problem that somehow I overlooked throughout the whole roof rebuilding process. And that is this truss right here is not in the right place. It is way off. It's right in the middle, but it's over an inch and a half off at the bottom. It's like way over there. And I was looking at it. I screwed this board to it just to experiment. And it's heavily twisted, but it's loose. What I think happened is uh, the fasteners rusted away at the outer plate and shifted over. But what happened is when I was screwing down my roof purlins, I hooked it there. It's now locked to the roof purlins and it can't go to where it belongs. So that all happened last night. It was frustrating. We didn't know what to do. Uh, we thought about sistering it, but there was all kinds of problems because not only is it super crooked, but it's twisted. And when I try to straighten it up, so that it'd be able to sister it properly. Well, it puts a lot of stress on the screws and it's not right. So after much thought, I have to fix this right. I'm gonna go outside, get on the roof and I'm gonna pull a roof panel off and I'm gonna unscrew the purl ends from that one truss. It's a lot of work, but it's gonna be quick. And then we can put the truss where it belongs and then get it screwed back in. Hopefully we can get it straight and in line so we can put this next panel up because right now it is super crooked and I can't work with it. Now, going down this roof, I know that these pearl, these trusses are not gonna line up perfectly 24 inches on center. I know some of them are warped or bent and we might have to sister some, but I can only work within certain tolerances. This one is just too far off for my liking. So we're gonna try to, try to make that right. And you can see how heavy that insulation is sagging over there. That's why we're trying to get these panels up as we go. Do it again. Keep going. I got the right one. It'll likely be there until the wood's gone. We did it. It was a lot of work, but that wasn't too bad. But we shifted that truss over to where it should go, straightened it out, put some bracing in, screwed the purlins back on, <coughs> insulation. And I added some uh, reinforcement blocking in the peak. I'll show you that soon. But right now we're ready to get the insulation put back in and the panel put back up. Since that insulation sat out all night, sagging it doesn't want to stay in the bay so i don't know how this is going to go but we're going to try we're going to try to get that back up and then hopefully we can flow from there so give, take a little weight off it and let me just make sure i have enough over here Almost 
Well, the problem is that tr the trusses are very uh, small, and it leaves big gaps around the insulation. Let me get it to the wall. Don't lift it yet. I don't want to knock the insulation out. We did it. We barely did it, but we did it. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, winning is winning. You know what that's from? Fast and the Furious. Yep. We're gonna win so much, we're gonna get sick of it. <laughs> you know what that's from? for your collection. Why are we going so slow? We should have this done already. <sighs> Don't you feel like we're procrastinating? It doesn't matter, does it? Well, the longer we stay here, the longer we sweat. Okay, ready? I'm gonna tuck it in. I think fiberglass was the right choice for this Me too. ceiling. I didn't get itchy at all yesterday. Mm -hmm. Not a smidgen. Can you, um, mm. there's no way you're gonna be able to hold it this long. It's, I know. Take it down. Yeah. It's pointless. So the problem is the insulation's a little bit loose and it keeps falling. I think this will work though if we tie it to hold it. Okay, just don't go too far back, let me just... I'm just holding it up. Okay. I'll let you finagle it. Blah. We need to get it like up here, don't we? Yeah. Above this board. It's falling! Oh. This is just not working again. I mean, we're not gonna be able to fight this the whole way. We could be getting this job done 10 times quicker if we just could put it up there and it stayed. You gotta go toward Bell. Well, even though it was difficult, we got that sheet up. And now I'm gonna reinforce the ridge before putting this next sheet up. Let me show you. We ripped some custom wood on our table saw and you can see it's V-shaped. It's like a V-shaped two by four and we made a bunch of these so that as we go down the ridge, we can cut these into sections to put up in the ridge to join the panels too. So one panel joins here, the other joins here. And what it does is create strength in the center so the panels don't sag, gives us some place to attach trim to in the center of the home. And it helps air seal that gap because otherwise 
we would just have two sheets of OSB coming together, kind of floppy and nothing to keep it snug. Uh, this, can you give me a screw? What's wrong with this knife? Come on. Went off there a little bit. There's your a board for your collection. It's okay if it's shoved up a little high because it'll settle down over time. It'll fall after the ceiling's up. So I'll get this next one going so that it's It'll stay. It'll stay. All right? Yeah. Here it goes. There it goes. Yep. All right. All right. Lay it down. Let's just call this quitting because it's, it's too finicky. We don't like finicky. Yeah. Once it pumps up more, it'll make it easier, right? No. It doesn't get any easier. So that's our quitting point right there. We're going to run to the store and we're going to buy those little wires that you clip in and that holds your insulation in place. I was hesitant to use those. I hope they'll work. I hope that they fit between these uneven trusses, but we- You do have the whole ceiling to do. We can't keep doing this on every single day. We'll be <laughs> doing this forever. Yeah. And we just want to get it done. So it's a start. You can see what the ceiling is going to be like. It's taken shape and I'm happy with everything so far other than the slowness of the installation process, but we'll get there. So I'm going to go outside, get that roof panel put back on and... Before we go outside, let's take that suit off Stan. Okay. So poor Stan has been sitting over here sweating. All, All wrapped up. The house is clean enough now that he just wants to get out of this suit. He might get some insulation stuck to his uh, clothes though. I'll have to keep them keep them safe. <coughs> well, I guess he's gonna have to sit with his pants around his ankles, but it's better than it has been. And at least he's not all bundled up looking like a science lab guy. <sighs> so I guess that's all we have for now. We'll carry on getting this work done and we'll take you along as we finish this mobile home. Little by little, we're learning, we're figuring it out and refining our techniques. So yep. bear with us. But thanks for watching and until next time, take care. Bye.